and I'm escorted out of the building by the assistant, and um, I never worked with that company again. That we should all realize that nobody's perfect. I was definitely the victim of an exorcism. I really backed myself into a corner of shame. <laughs> Sorry. Most, Most embarrassing, embarrassing Monday. Monday. Austin, I think when you shot your pants on the way to the Galapagos, that was that was pretty embarrassing. Um, well, I think we should actually talk about the time where during the naked quad run, no one was rounding the corner, tripped, and then cr created a 20-person naked pileup. No, that was fun. Um, how about the time when you shot your pants on the way to London? Um, okay, oh, more with poop, but how about the time where you auditioned for Raisin in the Sun? Oh. <laughs> as as oh, George. Yeah. That was uh, bad. Um, so let me begin this story by prefacing that Noam is, is a lovely boy. He's not from this country. He doesn't know all of our American literature, and he was not exactly well read or versed in the work of... Uh, okay, okay. Let me tell the story. So basically what happened is we were living in Boston at the time, and there's listings of shows, and a very reputable theater company in Boston uh, posted that they were auditioning, and there was a role for someone in our age group, and it said all ethnicities should apply. All ethnicities should apply. And so I submitted, I sent my headshot on my resume. Uh, then later I read the play and realized I was really, really stupid. Um, but I got an appointment, so I was like, I gotta show up. We're not quitters. No, I don't believe in quitting. So I go to the audition and I walk in and the casting director is like, so, hello, uh, you're here to audition for the middle age. I was like, hi, my name is Noam and I'll be auditioning for the part of George. <laughs> and she's like, okay. Uh, and she gives me the sides and I actually killed the read. I do really, really well. It was actually one of my best cold reads ever. Um, so, <laughs> We finish the audition and she just looks up at me and says, I know you're young and desperate to get seen, but next time read the play. And I'm escorted out of the building by the assistant and um, I never worked with that company again. It's good though. Built character. 